Hello again. This video is partly in response to Bionic Dance, um, but it also applies to anyone who is thinking about the idea that um, us non-believing video makers may be running out of ideas or repeating ourselves. Um, there is a certain amount of repetition, um, but I think that uh, the arguments we make um, against irrational beliefs are important and they need to be made again and again. Um, you know, to look at the subject in new ways, shed more light on the matter, and the fact that uh, newly made and uploaded videos get more views than old ones which have been sitting there for a while is also important. Um, Bionic Dance has made something like four times the number of videos that I have. I've, I've been actively making videos for about a year and a half, even though my, I've had an account for a lot longer than that. Um, I've made something like 150 videos, although some of them are mirrors, so in terms of original content there might be a hundred. I'm not sure exactly, I haven't counted. Uh, Bionic Dance has over 600, so what I want to do in this video is to chuck out some ideas. This is based on one particular list, one of many I've got written down, um, where I just jot down notes um, which are ideas for new videos. Um, now the video making process, as far as I'm concerned, quite often starts with a simple question. Um, and I'm going to go through this list and expand a little bit on some of the ideas, others I'll just leave it as titles. If I get the time, um, I will put annotations onto this and if people are interested they can refer back to it and borrow or steal or whatever they want to do with the, with the ideas. Um, people might see something which they think, oh that's interesting, I could, I, I could say something about that. These are not all to do with atheism and religion. There's a wide variety of different uh, topics. Some of them I have explored a little bit anyway. Um, right, the first title I have is What's In It For Me? And this is uh, as and when or if I get round to making it going to be an exploration about uh, selfishness, altruism, uh, morality, and uh, doing good deeds, um, or not, as the case may be. Um, related to that, another video title, possible video title, is Who Benefits? Um, and that is looking at the things which people do, the things which people say, and especially if they seem odd in some way, um, I think it's important to ask who benefits, who benefits from me believing one particular idea, whether it's religious or otherwise. Um, another video title I have is Bleeding Do Gooder, and this I got from the Monty Python film, um, The Life of Brian, and it's an excuse for me to put a clip in where the um, Brian, the character in the film, meets an ex-leper and uh, this ex-leper chap is not too pleased because he has been cured of his leprosy by Jesus and one of the things he says about Jesus is he's a bleeding do-gooder. Um, so that uh, would also, I'd also like to combine that with the idea of putting the world to rights, which is something a lot of us do quite a lot of the time. We have ideas about how to improve things in the world. Um, it's worth mentioning this list I've got here is in no particular order whatsoever. Um, it's, it's pretty random, so if this video gets very long I'll just stop it and carry on in part two. The next possible video title is The Business Mentality. Um, this is something I've touched on in previous videos, but it's something I'd like to explore further. 
and it's the basic idea that um, in terms of good and successful business the most important thing is profit and not people's well-being. Um, I have also mentioned people like um, Alan Sugar and Donald Trump who make programs like The Apprentice which I have very mixed feelings about. I think they promote greed and selfishness. Anyway, that's something I would like to explore in a video. Um, jumping subjects quite a bit, um, I would like to make a video called Rocket Science for Beginners. And um, you often hear it said that, um, you know, in, in terms of an argument, so-and-so is not rocket science, meaning it's fairly simple and straightforward. Um, the actual physics behind space travel and launching rockets, um, I think it's possible to get a fairly intuitive understanding of how it all works. Um, and I have started to put some material together for a video on this subject, um, and I think it's quite an interesting thing to explore. Um, the, the fact that when you uh, when space cr probes or spacecrafts are travelling through space um, out of the direct influence of gravity of the planets um, this comes back to Newton's law where um, objects pushed in a certain direction if there's no resistance i.e. they're travelling through the vacuum of space they will keep moving in a straight line or to put an Einsteinian twist on it they will follow a geodesic through space-time but anyway, that's getting a little bit technical. Um, moving on, another video title is Why Doesn't Plastic Decompose? Um, this is basically uh, shining a little bit of light on my own ignorance about um, the structure of molecules, but it's something which puzzles me and is uh, semi-interesting, I think. Um, we know plastic burns, um, gives off a lot of black smoke, um, as does oil. And obviously, plastic is derived from oil. Um, it is a hydrocarbon, so like other hydrocarbons, um, or things made from hydrocarbon, you know, like our own bodies and uh, plants and trees, provided they're dried out, they, they burn. So why doesn't plastic burn? This is, it's, it's more of a rhetorical question. Um, but something I'd like to explore in a video. Um, on a similar topic, or similar thread of thought, um, do diamonds burn? Um, this is something I've wondered and since found out that uh, they do, um, and when you think of um, a lump of charcoal or a lump of coal, which is mostly made of carbon, it's very different. It's, it's crumbly, very different from a diamond, which is transparent and very hard. Um, so that is another kind of rhetorical question, but um, something I would at some point like to make a video about. But if anyone else wants to make a video on that, then please borrow or steal my idea. Another question is, are icebergs salty? Um, the answer to that, as far as I know, is they're not salty. Um, Seawater freezes at about minus two degrees centigrade, um, which means because of the concentration of salt in seawater, um, it will remain liquid you know, below the normal freezing temperature of water. Um, and when it does freeze, um, the salt will not be frozen within it, I don't think. Um, another interesting thing about most icebergs um, that might not be immediately obvious um, is that they tend to come from uh, glaciers or pieces of ice shelf breaking off Antarctica and the ice sheet over the North Pole and Greenland. Um, so it's basically snow 
which has fallen and frozen uh, or rain which has fallen and frozen into solid ice and where that meets the sea chunks of it break off and then they float away. This is particularly um, relevant at this point in time being the hundredth anniversary of the sinking of the Titanic so a lot of people are talking about icebergs. I'm going to stop this one now because I think I don't have a, a watch or a clock running but I think this is probably getting quite long. If you're interested in more ideas for videos, please watch part two.